what is going on guys welcome back to another video on the spider shop channel from me jeremy from jeremy's wild world i've been asked by the spider shop to make a rehousing video for the asian opus aspectans commonly known as the neck casting or ogre face spider really excited to showcase what i'm going to be rehousing on all the products can be found on the spider shop website as well as the livestock on the website as well definitely go check them out and without further ado let's get into today's video of rehousing the asian opus aspectans by showcasing this female i got all right guys so to start off today's video like i normally do for the spider shop today we're going to be showcasing the spider that we're going to be housing now this of course is the asian opus aspectans uh previously known as denopus uh these gorgeous spiders are commonly known as the neck casting or ogre face spiders now these are a very very unique species of true spider coming from the family asian opidae uh, of course previously being denopidae um they're really really nice found throughout throughout the world but these um, aspectans come from cameroon now, Spider Shop does come with a variety of sizes, and this is an adult female. So this is the expected size. If you were to get a smaller specimen, this is what you would be expecting to get. Now, what's really unique about these spiders is typically you would think that spiders don't have very good vision, but these true spiders have very, very fantastic vision, given by the size of their binocular front eyes right there, as you can see. Um, now, what they will use these eyes for is actually just visually tracking down prey. So at nighttime, they will... I'll just close the lid here and I'll just continue talking. This little girl wants to go on a move. Uh, so yeah, Asian Opus Aspectans or the Asian Opus genus in general will sit on a lower hanging branch with a net uh, webbing and will lunge at prey, basically trapping the prey item like that, dragging it up and then spinning around and eating it. So that's what you want to have in mind when setting up an enclosure for these guys. Um, they're typically arboreal. They don't really climb on the ground, but they stay fairly close to the ground when hunting. And then during the day, they will sit high up in a bush or something like that. Um, but yeah, so these are really, really unique spiders. And I'm really excited to show you guys how I'm going to be setting up an enclosure for this one. And yeah, so now that you've had a look at the Asian Opus and Spectans, let's take a look at the enclosure that I'm going to be setting up for this gorgeous adult female. So now that we've had a look at the Asian Opus and Spectans, we're now going to be talking about which enclosure I'm going to be using to set up for the spider. So today we're going to be using the Spider Shop's Arboreal Acrylic Enclosure. This is the medium size 15, 15 by 20. Now, the reason why I wanted to use this enclosure is because of a few things. As you can see by the box, it has a lot of space for branches and sticks, which I'm going to be using today um, in the enclosure in order for her to have a lot of anchor points and areas that she can hang low to hunt for prey. It has a lot of cross ventilation as well on the top and the bottom. And in form mantis, you can actually also change it out. Um, you don't have to use these for spiders. I can see down here, mantis jumping spiders, Aristidae. So if you guys haven't seen my Paradonia video on this channel, definitely check it out. Um, you can also change the top for mesh, but I'm going to be keeping the uh, normal acrylic on there. Now, as you can see, it's a very, very nice quality enclosure, 360 viewing, which is awesome. Front opening. So if you were to keep jumping spiders, you don't have to damage the webbing. Uh, but with Aspectans, the Asian Opus Aspectans, uh, although they don't make webbing like a tarantula uh, per se, um, they will make webbing throughout the enclosure. So it'd be nice to open the front so you don't have to damage that webbing. And then, yeah, you have the optional mesh that's also in here for the jumping spiders or uh, mantids. And there's also a barcode here, guys. Check this out if you guys want to go over to the spider shop and check out how to set up this enclosure. What I'll be doing is actually doing a time lapse on setting this up uh, so you guys can see... Uh, how long it takes for me to do it well in a speedy way um, because as you can see it comes flat packed and you put together with rubber bands so yeah so let's cut into me setting up this enclosure and then we'll get the interior set up And here is the enclosure after doing that failed time lapse. If I'm honest, guys, I had to check out the video to sort of figure out how to do the lid and stuff. 
but it's all sorted out now so uh, as you can see here it's all put together really really nice quality so this is the substrate barrier so depending on how much substrate you want to use this is what you can go up to um, front opening lid as you can see here a really nice smooth front opening lid nice ventilation both on the sides and the top so let's get this enclosure set up now so what i want to do is basically incorporate some sticks and stuff into the enclosure but before i do that of course i need to add substrate so as you can see here this is a mix of topsoil peat moss and then my sand mix on the bottom my sand mix consists of different kinds of sand let's see how i'm going to do this uh, different kinds of sand uh, excavated clay and some previously dried substrate that I reuse. So let's get this all mixed up. Um, again, although these come from Africa, they do live in more warm and humid areas. So you want to make sure that the substrate keeps that humidity and maintains that nice dampness. Even though this female won't go near the bottom, she'll normally stay on the top. She will hang out on the bottom at times and she does appreciate some humidity so i've got that all in there now and then before i add the decor i just want to add some moss in the corner now moss is fantastic you guys for maintaining humidity within the enclosure and it looks really really nice now the main piece i wanted to put in here was this little uh, branch slash root that i collected i want to see there's a way for me to incorporate this in. I think if I bury it, just like so. Yeah, I think that will work. Because this will be like her main branch that she can hang down from. And then all these little bits of dried stuff here just adds really nice texture to the enclosure. Just looks really, really nice. There we go. And then maybe I'll add another branch. Just like so and of course I have some leaf litter which I will add in as well she will actually use leaf litter to hide her egg sacs if she does produce some I do actually have two females and a male um, so I'm hoping to breed these in the future so I'll add these leaf this leaf litter in here just to add some texture and if she does produce any egg sacs as she is a wild caught adult female she might even be fertile already and yeah, so that is pretty much the enclosure set up, guys. Check it out. What do you guys think? Again, another simplistic enclosure, but that's what I like to do with these enclosures for you guys on the Spider Shop channel is to show that um, these enclosures can just be simple, but look really, really nice regardless. So what I'll do now is just clean up the glass a little bit or the acrylic even. Um, just clean it up just so it looks a bit more display and then we'll get this female rehoused into it. So now it comes to the final part of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos. And if you guys have any other suggestions for species you would like to see featured on the Spider Shop channel, do let them know down in the comments below. We can also work something out in the future. Um, so just quickly going over the enclosure once again, this enclosure, really, really nice for the species uh, because of the space ventilation, uh, top and bottom to allow cross ventilation uh, while maintaining humidity within inside and the clarity is very, very nice. I've had a few different acrylic enclosures and this is probably one of my favorites so far. Um, but yeah, so uh, just talk about the contents inside once again. Substrate mix allows for humidity to stay within the substrate, not completely dry out as well as the moss. Uh, lots of um, anchor points with the branches and, you know, just really, really nice display enclosure in here so hopefully she will hang down here and um catch prey like that and yeah so this is pretty much a setup that i would recommend for the asian opus aspectums and now we can get her rehoused so unlike last week or whenever the previous video came out which was the red fang wandering spider i'm not worried about these guys at all but i still want to use some tongs to rehouse her so what i will do is just get um the tub here and angle it like so I'll just encourage her to walk out. They're very, very docile spiders in comparison to other true spiders that um, are currently available on the Spider Shop website. So, yeah, really, really excited to get her rehoused. Just like that. How simple is that? And now she'll wander around and establish herself inside. And then just to close the lid, like so. Very, very easy rehousing, guys. Check that out. Absolutely gorgeous spider. Really, really well camouflaged in here, and hopefully she will establish herself and make a nice little net cast. 
all right so that is pretty much the end of today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it once again a massive shout out to the spider shop thank you again for allowing me to make these videos for you guys uh, do let them know down in the comments below if you have any suggestions for other true spiders or other miscellaneous invert because i'm happy to do videos on setups for those as well and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed it do check out the channel jeremy's wild world on youtube and instagram and facebook page um, i'm active on there i post pictures and videos of all the animals and inverts i keep um in my collection that is the end of today's video guys i hope you enjoyed watching me rehouse and set up the enclosure for the asian opus aspectans these are a really unique species of true spider and i'm really excited to see her settle into the enclosure and make those really iconic net casting uh webs catching the prey and hopefully i'll be able to pair them in the future i have said that i've got two females and a male at the time of recording this video so i'm really excited to hopefully attempt to do that in the future and yeah thanks again to the spider shop once again for asking me to make a video on their youtube channel i hope you guys check them out in the link down in the description below and also do be sure to check out my channel jeremy's wild world really active on there posting um videos and everything that i do with my collection of inverts as you can see i keep a variety of stuff and yes yeah, so that's all for me today guys take care and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye-bye.